Right, I'm going to show you the spline based cave tool that I've been working on. Here we go is the, the first spline actor that I've got in the scene. And if we get a wee bit closer, make sure I've selected the right one, I think I have. There we go, as you can see, that's the first section. Keep on pulling it out, you get another one. And if I make it a little bit neater, and of course do this, I can then do that. And if I make sure my wee bit is just, oops, just like that, I can come over here. I can select which room I want, and then add the room. And as you can see, that's it there. I select the room. And what I'll do is select some scene covers. And that automatically puts in some scene covers there. And I'll just fly down into side. If I deselect so you can see. There we go. That's nice. And another scene cover there. And then what we can do with the room selected. We can do exactly the same again. Just drag it out. We get that. Drag it out a wee bit there. it's over there we can maybe go for cave room 2 we'll add that there and as you can see it's a kind of t-junction one and the reason that gaps there is because that spline point was a bit further than the end now that's quite easily fixed I'll move that back there then do this and move that back a little bit there and with that room I can go give me some scene covers there we go. There's some seam covers. And again, I can spawn the spline points. And off into the distance. Off into the distance. And that's essentially how it works. Um, you can get very very large cave systems very quickly. Obviously you can add in more variety of passages and rooms than all I've got just now but it took me a wee while just to actually work out what I was doing but uh, yeah that's the basics of it.